Jocko Stradol, close place. Here is where you really get into the meat and potatoes of, in my, my opinion, LeBerry's philosophy of playing with the long sword. No winding, no counter cutting, no coming around the sword blade. If you're fortunate enough to make a cover, you move in and you put them down. <clears throat> it is not really a lot of sword play. It's all about what you've already learned. Uh, so this scenario will set up. Um, the scholar's going to take a step with his cover. It changes the footwork, it also changes the diff distance. Um, Leanna comes in with her attack, which is check the distance. Uh, I'm going to step, and we'll come into a cover <coughs> where we're at, more up strong in the in this area. First play, come in, break down her cover, force your way through. Like the exchange of point, and in some ways, like the counter to the six master of dagger. Um, you can reach in, break down the defense. <coughs> Next, we have we cover. Leanna is in a strong crossing. She's trying to force her way through. I can come through with my pommel. He shows an alternative to this where uh, Leanna is not so strong in her crossing, but I want to do the same technique anyways, so I make it happen with that elbow push. I force my way through. Pummel her a couple of times, and then he shows a follow up where he push her to take her down. Close line. That close line you see in the dagger plays. Um, and again, I'm taking the swords out of the equation because dealing with that sword is very risky. So I'm doing the safest things that are available to me. Other options are available. I can come in, we can cross. <clears throat> he shows, this is sort of a side technique, but I'm going to hook in with the quillions and then wrap her arms. You can do the arm wrap, I won't repeat it. It can be done without hooking on the quillions with the quillion, but if you hook that, you can just extend an arm that much better. It gives you a little bit of a bigger target to go in for that wrap. If we come to that crossing, I want to go through this wrap, Leanne decides to, decides to bail. I can ideally wrap on her sword and hopefully disarm her. Of all the different people I've trained with, Leanne is the hardest one to do this on. <laughs> uh, again, cross, go through the wrap. She pulls back, and I want to get onto her sword like this. Uh, people will, this is an interesting technique where people will like, oh, you're going to get your arm cut out of ribbons. Maybe. But I'm going to get her sword out of her hands and I'm going to stab her and kill her dead. Which is really my objective. I'll take a little bit of a shredding on the arm if I can be certain that I can win this engagement. Likewise, I do that sword wrapping. I do the queens. I wrap. Once I'm here, I pummel. And I can step through with my clothesline as before, or I can simply lay my sword across and force through this way, which I think is nastier in every way possible. <clears throat> Again, from a crossing, we have other plays available. We have, okay. do that one again. He shows a series of techniques that are really more or less first master of dagger plays, and I've talked about the, this. Here we see it again in the long sword. Crossing, I have something. hopefully a disarm. If not, I at least check their weapon. I can be even more brazen and aggressive and cross and come in with my middle key as such. <clears throat> If Leanna, here's one of the rare scenarios in the close plays, or any of the sword plays where he gives counter counters, what he does. Uh, if Leanna employs uh, first the, uh, employs the middle key, which he says is the third play of the first master, if she does that middle key against me, cross, I can counter it as such, which is this angle. I can 
bring my sword to bear against the throat, force her back. Or I can use a principle that we've already seen earlier on the crossing. Go for the middle key. I can't double up. Put her into the lower key. You've already seen this many, many times. Just reminding us these are what you can do. Two arms against you, double up and use two arms against them. Um, next series in the close plays, we'll throw the attack, make the crossing. Uh, first thing I can do is, uh, this is an interesting one in the PD only, um, I'm going to actually take my right hand off, and this is I think the only time where you see this. Come through, and again, these double-handed sword on the throat I think are just brutally lethal. Um, come through this way. Another option, I come to cross, <clears throat> another sword grab. Ideally, she stands there like a deer in headlights, but she might pull back. And here's one of the first times where Liberia advocates the sword all the way you're through, and this is an all for nothing sort of scenario. And going for that grapple and taking her down. <clears throat> Continuing on, we have very much like the false point, here's one where you are some sort of setting it up. So it kind of breaks out of the tradition. I'm going to throw a manzana. Leanna's going to cover it low and strong. So I'm baiting her into a certain position. Aggressively come in. I can come through as such, or better yet, I can come around. And again, this is very similar to that throw, okay, right? Yeah. Where we put her down. <clears throat> To the left. Three plays from the left, two more or less we've already seen, one's uh, new. And I would advocate that you could do this from the right just as well as you could do it from the left. We come to a crossing from the left side. <clears throat> First thing I can do is come through. One, we've already seen that. We can come through, wrap our arms, we've seen that. The new one that comes into play is we cross, and I'm going to come through as such. So he gives, he gives you that brief glimpse of what you can do from the left. Back on the right, very, a series of very cool uh, disarms. Leanna's going to make her attack, I'll cross, and he simply says, reach over, using Break that down. Side, Come in. And we have a disarm. And he gives you three solutions to accomplish the same disarm. I think it's neat because I think everyone works different for different people. Uh, some people are good at certain ones, not the other. Just kind of uh, the idea, you know. Or you're bringing that left hand in, you don't necessarily know, if you're doing this so fast, you don't know where it's going to go. And he basically says, it doesn't matter where it goes. You get it in there. Uh, you got it. So to break this down slowly, the idea is that we're in. I come in, I want to have, <clears throat> use that handle of my sword and bring it in. I'll do it quickly through the two other scenarios. <coughs> Crossing, and come through. Works just as well to come through. And if a bit of that pummel is available to you, you can cross and you can do it using the pummel. I, I personally don't like that version. Um, <clears throat> he also gives you a, a last ditch hope effort technique here, which is kind of neat. Uh, we come to a crossing. For whatever reason, I fail to accomplish most likely this. So, draw my sword and do the play anyways. Uh, again, go sideways, you're very much committed at that point. Why not go the extra little effort and fight the way through? Sword in two hands. 
I got a question. Uh, so are there any lessons or techniques that he only brings out in the post section? So before he starts showing the first crossing in the place, are there any specific lessons from the post? -section? Yes. Um, he shows 12 posta um, in different positions. <coughs> he also shows six uh, matched postas, and some of them are different. I, I can go through them off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, in each sort of section of each posta, he has a lengthy description of various ways that this post is employed versus other ones, and likewise, various things that can be accomplished. Um, you know, he shows some tricky stuff. He shows. He does show a couple where you're using the sword as an axe, so he implies that's a technique. He shows something where you're, you're, uh, you've done this tricky maneuver where you've scooched down, you got a little more distance. So those are in the six matched pair, uh, matched pairs, and likewise the twelve main posts does also have sort of little lessons attached to them. That's as far as I can go without, without looking at the manuscript. <clears throat> Certainly some of the other ones too. Uh, again, he just explains, he does show a long sword posta. Like with the, um, the guard sword in one hand, he shows you're here. And he, again, he shows that same sort of drawing where you're dealing with a cut, a thrust, or a thrown weapon. And this is where we get the idea of this exchange and deflections come from that. He shows another posta uh, to deal with that same threat, which is the the thrown same sequence. The sword is There are two solutions there. Yeah, off the top of my head. Um, we are going to get into, we're going to move along to the, another self defense scenario type techniques where he's using some series of mixed weapons. 